Hey guys, welcome to another lecture from EcoPoint. Today, again, I have a few questions with you, which are CVT type, and let's try to do them in five minutes. We have two lists here. List one, list two, functions and derivatives are there. We need to match. So quickly, let's differentiate and figure it out. The derivative of log x is one by x, derivative of x square by 4 is 2x by 4 that is x by 2 derivative of x cube is 3x square and derivative of x plus 1 is just 1. So the correct match is So it's going to be which option? 1, 3, 2, 4. 1, 3, 2, 4. So that's option 2. Quickly, next question. You have x is a random variable taking two values minus 10 and 20 with probabilities 1 by 4 and 3 by 4. What is expected value of x square? For that, I need to take x squared as my variable so the value is 100 and 400 so therefore expected value of x squared will be 100 into 1 by 4 plus 400 into 3 by 4 and that will be 25 plus 300 that is 325 option 3. Next question is if y is 20 plus 10x what is variance y so variance of 20 plus 10x will be equal to variance of 20 is 0. There's nothing uh, associated to constant. Now, variance of 10x will be 10 square into variance of x. That is 100 times variance of x, which is option 1. So, where what you need to remember here is variance ax plus b is equal to a square variance x. On the other hand, if it's expected value of ax plus b, it is a e x plus b. Y is, x, x, y is equal to e to the power a plus b x. What is the derivative y dash? y dash will be e to the power a plus b x. But due to chain rule, b will be there. So that means this is the correct option. You have a binomial distribution with n and p as parameters. The variance is, we all should know that the variance of binomial is n p q, where q is 1 minus p. So it's n p 1 minus p. And that is option 4. Next quick question. A dice is rigged in a way that each odd number is twice as likely to occur as even number. When a dice is rolled, what is the probability outcome is more than two? So what values can your x take? It's a dice. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And what is given to us is that if probability of uh, even number is p, then the probability of odd number is 2p. So all the odd numbers could be 2p and all even p. That means the total is, if you add it up, 9p. And therefore, if we want probability that x is greater than 3, that would be the probability of 4, 5 and 6. Clearly, that is 4p upon 9p, which is the total, favorable upon total. That means 4 by 9 should be the correct answer. That is option 4. In this question, we have to find the weighted arithmetic mean of 10, 20 and 30. Given the weights are 3, 2, 1, 1, 1, 3, 1, 3, uh, 1, 2, 3, 
टू वन टू रिस्पेक्टिवली एंड देन वी हैव टू पुट द आंसर इन डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर सो लेट्स क्विकली फाइंड आउट द मीन सो इफ थ्री टू वन इज द वेट सो द मीन विल बी थर्टी प्लस फोर्टी प्लस थर्टी अपॉन द टोटल वेट ऑलवेज रिमेंबर द वेटेड एवरेज इज डब्ल्यू आई एक्स आई समेशन अपॉन समेशन डब्ल्यू आई वेर डब्ल्यू आई इज आर रिस्पेक्टिव वेट्स सो द टोटल वेट इज सिक्स अपॉन सिक्स दैट मीन्स यू हैव हंड्रेड अपॉन सिक्स दिस वन इज टेन प्लस ट्वेंटी प्लस नाइंटी सो अपॉन फाइव सो दिस इज वन हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी अपॉन फाइव दिस वन इज टेन प्लस फोर्टी प्लस नाइंटी अपॉन सिक्स सो दिस इज हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी अपॉन सिक्स एंड This one is twenty plus twenty plus sixty upon five. So this is hundred upon five. So hundred upon six is smaller than hundred upon five. These are the values. Basically, what you will get in descending order, it's gonna be B. C D A B C D A and where do I see that in option two? So option two is the correct option. Thank you very much. I'm sure you will be able to cater to these kind of questions in just five minutes. Thank you very much.